Yeah, Frank, we've talked about uh, indiv- we talked about teams. There are some individuals, you know, positive and negatively. And I know and you were very open about it. You, you weren't the huge Jack Campbell fan to start. Uh, probably, I, I saw Tyler put out a, a tweet last night. Campbell's got like an 872 save percentage now. And that he would have to save something like 93 consecutive shots to get to 900. Like yeah, it's, it's 80, uh, 83 shots to get back 80. to a 900. If you wanted to get back to a 910, it's roughly 130 consecutive shots. Yeah, so um, he he's like the the thing is on Tuesday in Tampa he played great, and you're like okay he's out of his funk, and then you got to Carolina and he let in another shot where it looked like it went right through his glove. It didn't again, um, and now the orders weren't great. They had some ugly turnovers in that game, but. When, when you're consistently giving up as many goals as he is, like, I think that's, it's going to be more of a mental challenge now for Campbell than physical uh, down the stretch that's, for him to find his game. That was always my biggest concern for Jack Campbell was always between the eyes. I don't think it's ever been a, a, a between the ears, excuse me, because I don't think it's ever been a physical thing. I think he's a capable, talented guy, but you look at the way last season unraveled for him. I know there was a chest rib injury that he missed some time before the playoffs and they shut him down, but they also happened to shut him down at the exact moment that his game had really spiraled out of control. And I felt then like, yeah, like he probably could have kept playing through that, that rib injury that he had, but that so much of it was also about parking him and taking him out of the lineup and trying to get him set. Because so much of what he seems to go through is an emotional roller coaster. And look, it's the mental ability of being a professional athlete is is sometimes almost as big as the physical component. There's a lot of people out there that were physically gifted and talented that just could never put it together because their brain couldn't allow them to. And I'm not in his head. I'm not his sports psychologist, but that was my biggest concern. And now that his game has spiraled, you mentioned the stats to make it a long way back. I think this start makes it an even greater challenge for him mentally. And then on the other side of goalies, like Jake Ottinger just continues to be dynamite for Dallas. He's got an over 950. Carter Hart, for, and it just shows you the volatility and the unpredictability of the goaltending position. Look at Carter Hart start in Philadelphia. He, you know, people thought after two weeks, ah, he'll come down. Well, here we are now, Frank. We're over five weeks into the season, and he's still at a 940 save percentage, right? Like that's, it's been huge. Connor Hellebuck has bounced back. That one, I think, was more predictable. Linus Omark in, in Boston is off to a great start. And then Hill and Thompson, that to me is like, is it goaltending or is it the system? Like part of me wants to think it's just Vegas in the system. I, I've watched a few of their games. Like their goalies make some good saves, but they just, they luckily don't get put in positions to have to make dynamic saves on an, on a, on a period by period basis. 